it's so easy in the middle of our challenge, our storm, our trial, in the middle of cancer, to focus on the problem, to, pro to focus on that trial or challenge or cancer. It's so easy to do that. Uh, my name is Jonathan Pasley, and remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video with somebody who you think can benefit from it. Uh, I just finished my uh, morning devotions and I had to shoot this video. Um, you know, it's so easy to focus on what's happening in front of us. You know, the, the challenge, the storm, the whatever circumstance you're going through, through cancer, if you're battling cancer, it's so easy to focus on that. You know, I know in uh, my cancer journey, just speaking from experience, that once you first get diagnosed, you know, you, it's, it's, you focus on that, you focus on the fear and the worry starts, starts really kicking in. Um, you know, you, you start thinking, hey, am I going to make it through the day? Am I going to wake up tomorrow? You know, uh, is this the last time I'm going to see my kids? Is this the last time I'm going to see my wife? You know, you start thinking about that. You start focusing on that. And um, it can really consume you. You know, uh, in my cancer journey, I, uh, you know, use the first thing. I think that a lot of people can relate to <laughs> is uh, that Google can be a gift and a curse, right? So you start Googling things, you know, you start Googling cancer and start looking up remedies and then, you know, I know personally I went down this rabbit hole, you know, you, you start seeing, reading articles and joining the forums, uh, you know, all the government's out to, to get us and, you know, you know, you got to eat organic and, you know, all the food is there to kill us. And I mean, you start, you start, you start really going down a rabbit hole. <laughs> and, um, you know, I don't know whether that stuff is true or not. Um, again, I've, I've been down that route. But, um, you know, it can really consume you. It can be all you think about and all you focus and concentrate on. But, you know, the real solution is you really got to focus on Christ. And uh, in my devotions today... You know, I was uh, reading Genesis, how, you know, Satan, the devil, tricked Adam and Eve, right, to focus on what they couldn't have, focus on the problem, right? So God told them not to eat from just one tree out of the Garden of Eden. I mean, think about all the blessings that they had. They had, they didn't have to worry about sickness, they didn't have to worry about, you know, food, they didn't have to work, they didn't have to do anything. Everything was perfect. It was a perfect temperature, it was a perfect everything. Right, and um, they had a lot of blessings. I mean, tons of blessings. But the devil, you know how crafty he is, tricked them, tricked Adam and Eve into focusing on what they couldn't have, focusing on the problem, and forgetting about God, forgetting about God as their source, forgetting about His Word. I know, and, and just focusing on that problem. And that's how the devil tricked them to sinning. And I was thinking the same thing for us, you know, especially for all of us in our, our cancer journey or despite what you're going through. You know, the devil a lot of times can trick us to focusing on the problem, you know, and not the solution. And the solution is, is Christ. You know, the devil can trick us into focusing on, on the cancer, focusing on, hey, are we going to make it tomorrow? Are we gonna, am I going to wake up tomorrow? You know, when the truth is, you know, God's word that he is... He's our healer. He's the great physician. You know, he's Jehovah Rapha, right? A great healer. I mean, he's he's our provider. If you're going through whatever it may be, financial, you're lacking in something, he's our provider. You know, he's our source. But the devil really wants us to forget about that and focus on the issue, the problem, the, what we don't have. And that's how we can take our eyes off of Christ and focus on, you know, what isn't the solution, the problem. I mean, the solution is Christ. You know, so um, those thoughts came to my mind, you know, it's we really have to focus on what God has already blessed us with, you know, we're, despite where we are in our in our challenge, in our journey with cancer and, and whatever is going on in our life. We, if God saved us from something before in the past, think about that because he'll do it again. He'll save us. He'll pull us out of the situation that we're in now, you know, and to really focus on Christ, and it's something I did too as well in my journey, um, but, you know, maybe we pray to God that, hey God, you know, in the midst of our challenge, in the midst of our storm, you know, guide me and direct me on how you want to use me, you know, 
draw my attention off of the problem and guide me, show me how you want me, how you want to use me, use me for your kingdom, use me to help others, use me to bless others. You know, focus on blessing other people than focus other than focusing on your own situation or, or focusing on the problem. Focus on helping somebody else. You know, so ask God on giving you an opportunity to help someone else. How He wants to use you in the middle of the trial, in the middle of the of the uh, of your cancer journey, or whatever it may be. And uh, you know, just God, watch God work. Watch God work. Again, He's our source. He's the solution. He's the solution. And now I'm not saying you know, don't take medicine or don't you know, uh, eat well or anything like that. Because God might be leading you to that. I mean, you know, I'm not here to tell you what to do <laughs> um, you know but uh, we just got to remember what we got to make sure that we're following God's direction and not man's direction or our own direction leaning on his understanding and not our own understanding because at the end of the day we don't know what we, we're doing people don't know what we're doing um, you know man doesn't know what we're doing but God knows and um, you know he can guide us and he can send people and resources into our lives to help us too as well so um, so yeah it's just you know just a reminder, I hope it's encouraging to you. Again, it's a remind, reminder to me this morning too as well, uh, just to keep God as, as the source and to focus on Him and not the problem, not, not life circumstances. So despite what you're going through, um, again, just draw close to God, lean on Him, lean on His understanding, and ask Him to use you for His kingdom, even in the middle of your trial. So hope this was encouraging to you. Um, again, remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel. Share this video with somebody who you think can benefit from it. That's the only reason I do these videos. Um, that's what I felt like God was leaning me or pulling me to do in my cancer journey is uh, documenting my, my journey. And, and now it's really snowballed into encouraging others uh, through their journey as God has blessed me with the cancer being in remission. So um, thank God for that. But um, again, share this video with somebody who you think can benefit from it. Uh, and if you are battling cancer, please feel free to join our support group, uh, Christians Battling Cancer. Uh, it's a great group where we just support each other, encourage each other through the journey, pray for each other. And God is doing amazing things in our group. Um, tumors are shrinking, um, blood work and CT scans coming out, coming back positive. I mean, it's just amazing things. Um, go to www.cbc.support. They'll take you directly to the Facebook group. Uh, answer the two questions there and, and uh, I'll approve your request to join but um yes again hope you all have a great rest of the day and uh see you on the next video all right